What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka All Fires. Now it's normal for Marvel Studios to put misleads in the trailer, either things that get omitted in the final footage or things that they purposely don't want us to know about before the movie comes out. And in the case of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, where in the trailer they revealed variants of such characters as Professor X, played by Patrick Stewart, the misleads were very on purpose, leaving it ambiguous so we didn't know exactly who's on that Illuminati Council or which version of Professor X this exactly is. Well, yesterday we got a brand new trailer from Screen X. I'm going to explain what that is if you're not familiar. I actually saw Spider-Man No Way Home in one of those theaters. Not a huge recommend unless you've already seen the film. But in the extended frames, as is such the case with Screen X, we got a further look at Professor X, and where sometimes just a couple of extra frames don't help you figure out anything, in this case it was a major, major reveal for which version of Patrick Stewart's Professor X we're going to be getting in this movie, and more importantly, which version we're not. We're breaking down everything in this major detail reveal for Professor X in the Multiverse of Madness, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider scoop and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that'll automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there and announce a brand new winner for the comic book giveaway from earlier this week at the Moon Knight watch party. Now, when we first saw Professor X, or should I say heard Professor X and the Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness trailer, that's right. If it weren't for that overdub voice where he says we should tell him the truth, I'm not sure we would have been able to tell without a shadow of a doubt that that was Professor X. Yeah, we would have seen sort of behind the shoulder and the bald head and had an inkling it was him, but this was a case of Marvel Studios doing the opposite of what I mentioned in the prologue, giving us a bone because they knew we were so hype, letting us know indeed he's coming back. But immediately the conjecture started about which version of Professor X this could be, mostly because the original holdout from Patrick Stewart for not being in an upcoming MCU movie was he loved the send-off for Logan and in that movie, not only Logan, but he passed away as well, meaning that character that we followed through the Fox continuity was a story that he paid reverence to. Hugh Jackman and him both wanted to leave those characters where they were and not ruin the ending, explaining how they came back some way in the multiverse. But given what we learned during the Loki series last year, variants can come in multiple forms. Sometimes they're completely different sexes or completely different animals, or sometimes, in the case of one of those final episodes of Loki, we saw another Loki that looked exactly exactly like Tom Hiddleston. They are mirror images. So in this case, when we get a Patrick Stewart Professor X and he rolls up in this frame with what's very clearly the top of a gold wheelchair, you can imagine last night the theory started spinning immediately because where we know Professor X with a gold floating wheelchair from is not the X-Men films from the last two decades, but rather the original 90s cartoon. Funnily enough, X-Men 97, an extension of that animated cartoon, picking right up where they left off in 1997, is expected to debut on Disney Plus next year or the following year. And in that, we may find out what happened to Professor X as the series was left off in a cliffhanger with him at the edge of his life. Now we may be seeing a variant of that Professor X show up in Multiverse of Madness, and I don't want to get too excited, but I'm wondering if they didn't decide to use that exact variant. That's right, the one from the cartoon universe in order to not only give stakes to this Professor X, we know who this is, but then you would give a lot of agency and stakes to X-Men 97 if when picking up the cartoon in the next year or two, the Professor X and X-Men we follow from that universe has already shown up in the live action MCU, connecting it all in the way that they seemingly want to given the fact that so much left over from the What If animated series has seemed to have an impact on the MCU and just already what we've seen as far as imagery in the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness trailer, they went ahead and made sure to show us there are a couple of animated frames right here. You can even see America Chavez and Doctor Strange turning into animated versions of themselves as they pass into this multiverse. So this image alone letting us know, yes, animated series are part of this bigger scale Marvel animated universe. And then of course in live action, Sinister Strange or Strange Supreme, seemingly the characters we saw in What If, it wouldn't be that much of a stretch if they would decide to do that now with the animated X-Men cartoon and bring in that Professor X. But of course, because variants work the way they do, 
it doesn't have to be the version from the cartoon. It could simply be a different version of Professor X, a variant in the multiverse. Remember, the Ancient One made sure to remind us that it's infinite universes, a countless number. It goes for infinity. There could be multiple Professor Xs that look exactly like Patrick Stewart at this age, who all use a gold wheelchair, not the one from the Fox X-Men, not the one from the animated X-Men, just a different variant. And if they decide to go that route, it sort of gives them an out for any actors who should or shouldn't show up during this film for a one-off and then not reprise their role going anywhere forward in the MCU. Of course, I'm not sure why an actor would want to do that, why they'd want a one-off except for Patrick Stewart given his age and place in the story. I mean, shoot, if you're getting in the MCU, I would think for most actors they want to stay in there, but this is a really clean way forward. For any actor who maybe wants to play the role, say a Tom Cruise in a Superior Iron Man, but doesn't want to be locked down by Marvel Studios for a 10-year, six-picture contract, which is what we maybe heard from Emily Blunt not wanting to be only an MCU actor with, you know, 10-plus years and six-plus pictures on these contracts. It's sort of hard to be ambiguous for someone who's already as lustrous as her, who already has a ton of jobs. Their interests just go past working on these projects. Not every actor who joins is a diehard MCU fan. That would just be the rest of us. But in this case, I think the gold wheelchair is a huge inkling. Number one, we can rule out it's not the old Fox X-Men Professor X that Patrick Stewart played that we saw pass away in Logan. And number two, I wouldn't go ahead and say for sure it's the X-Men cartoon Professor X. I'm certainly holding out for that and hoping it is, but you can see without a shadow of a doubt the gold wheelchair that's present as he rolls up here in frame, and that is exactly what diehard fans of that X-Men cartoon are going to remember, the floating gold wheelchair. I am so hyped for this, and the fact that Screen X is showing these extended frames. If you're wondering what Screen X is, it actually does this. I bought tickets for Spider-Man No Way Home on accident. I wasn't the only one who did this. Several of you went ahead and messaged me and said you did the same thing. I had already seen it at a pre-screener. Uh, shout out to Soups. I had already seen it at his event. But I went and saw it opening night at one of these Screen X theaters, and it looks exactly like this. They actually cast part of the frames onto the sides of the wall in the theater. You get the same frame you would in front of you, but you get extended frames down the sides of the theater, and it's only for certain portions of the film that were shot that way. What I would say is if you're interested in seeing the film like this, I would definitely recommend going to see a normal cinema or normal IMAX cinema experience first for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, then add this in because, uh, as some of my friends said from the opening night of Spider-Man No Way Home, while it was kind of cool in some parts, uh, it felt a little gimmicky, sort of like a little bit like a theme ride and very distracting if you hadn't already seen the film before, the way the cinematography was intended by the director, perhaps not how you want to see Doctor Strange the first time. Guys, let me know down in the comments how hyped you are for this film. We are literally less than two weeks away. The press pre-screeners are next week. I'll be at that. The virtual press tour is a week from tomorrow. I'll be at that. And then, of course, the red carpet premiere it's next Monday, um, May 2nd, and I am happy to announce I will be at that as well. So I love you guys. Let me know all your comments down below. And quickly, let's jump into the giveaway. Before I let you go, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s all the way up to a million subscribers. We're doing so every 20,000, and we're halfway to the next milestone at 960. If you want to be entered to win for any of the future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. We also do random giveaways over on my Instagram. You can see my handle down there in the bottom right hand corner at I am fires. And during the watch parties for Moon Knight and the other Disney Plus shows, we gave away some comics this past week. Here's the winner for the Thor variant comics from the Moon Knight watch party. Congrats to Trayvon White for this comment here. Came from Moon Knight, stayed for the music. I really appreciate that. You're the winner of the Thor variant comics. Guys, all of those comics coming from our friends over at StreetLevelHeroLA.com. You can use the code EverythingAlways to save 10%, but you guys are always asking about my comic collection, especially on stream. That's where I get all of my variants and paper trades. You can check them out over there or over on Whatnot. Congratulations again to Trevon. Let's go ahead and DM me on Instagram at IamFires or email me on my business email. It's under the About section on my YouTube channel. I have a way of verifying the accounts, guys. I sub to the account that wins and then use a code system. So congratulations. Go ahead and reach out to me. I'll get you verified and get that right out. And to the rest of you, I apologize. Sometimes people try to claim these prizes. They actually do every single time, even though they didn't win. So I've developed a system that makes sure that that doesn't happen. 
please save my time and yours guys don't bother either way make sure to sub to the channel leave a comment down below the best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on and as always if you like today's video i'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button my name is michael roman you can find me on instagram and twitter at i am fires you can also find me on spotify youtube amazon apple itunes wherever you listen to original music under the name all fires and while i'd sincerely appreciate you checking that out thanks for checking this channel out stick around we'll be posting again real real soon